Okay, guys, I just want to show you real quick in here um, two things real quick. One, get a bigger background than I shot this with. This is an, an old photo. This is when I was very first getting started in photography. Like I had owned a camera for maybe six weeks at this time, maybe two months. I don't know. Not very long. Um, and then I was asked to do this Wyoming Cowboy Hall of Fame photo shoot. These photos, not these particular ones, but photos from this event ended up in museums. So um, it's crazy how, you know, just, just barely getting started, uh, your work, you know, gets out there very quickly. Um, to, and then one more thing, what we're going to learn today is this lady back here, she blinked during this shot, and this is the shot the family wanted. Um, this next shot has the governor in it. They didn't want that shot, I guess. So this is the one with her eyes open, and uh, we're going to take her eyes from this one and put them into this frame here. So let's select both of these, right click. I just held shift and select both, but you can command or shift or whatever. Select both, edit in, and do Photoshop. You could do them as layers in Photoshop, but it's just not worth it, I guess, in my opinion. It's easier for this example, what we're doing now, to just do edit in Photoshop. So just click that. Okay, now they've both opened in Photoshop. You can see this one is with the eyes uh, open and this one here is with the eyes closed. So we wanna start here and the eyes closed, open up a new layer, switch to your stamp tool, which is S for stamp if you are into using keyboard shortcuts. And then we're gonna use the left bracket to make it much, much, much smaller, approximately the size of our eyeballs here. We just need a tiny little thing. So we are going to hit Command Plus or Control if you're on a PC. Zoom in here, we wanna get really close. Um, it's Option or Alt on a, so it's Option, hold Option on your Mac or Alt on a PC. And then that changes to this little bullseye looking thing. So what we're gonna do is we just wanna pick on something that's, you know, what we're gonna remember that's easily seen in both photographs. So I usually should start with like the point of a eyebrow. So we're gonna click right there once, and then we're gonna go into the other photo. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna command plus, zoom, zoom, zoom. Hold, if you hold space bar, you can, it changes to your hand tool here, and you can just grab and drag around. Now, you can see a little preview of that eyebrow in the dead center of my little brush tool here. So we're just gonna line it up till it lines up perfectly right there. Click, and now we can paint. And now we just paint these eyeballs open, and you can see these are way too big for her, for her head here, because I had zoomed in a little bit on the other shot. It helps if you, you know, are perfect and you don't, you know, zoom in and out on your, on your different shots. But this is we're just gonna paint a little bit extra because it's easier to get rid of it than it is to go back and try to add it again. So we're just going to add a little extra room here that we're going to work. So we have some room to work with here. We've got some pixels. We're bringing them all over and just go over and over and over. Make sure that they're all there. And then we, I can just show you, we'll hide that layer underneath. So these are the pixels that we've brought over from the other one. There's other ways to do this. This is just the simplest, easiest and gets you accurate. So if she hadn't turned her head, if she hadn't done anything and I hadn't zoomed in, this would have just been perfect. We would have been done, but <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, especially when you're new and you don't expect to be doing this, like it's just not, doesn't work out. But we're just gonna, I'm holding option here. You can hold alt if you're on a PC and that drags to the center. But we're just gonna drag it down till it lines up pretty dang good right in here probably something like that okay and then you can drag this opacity down a little bit so you can see it her head tilts and i'm just dragging the opacity up and down as i'm doing this down up oh getting closer aren't we getting closer eyebrows raised a little bit her eyes are a little bit too big still just bring them down there we go and we're just bringing that opacity up and down so we can see the movement see the change this is pretty close i think that would s we could sell that look couldn't we okay we're, we're right there we're close let's move them down just a little bit 
There we go. Okay, now we got the blinkies going. All right. That looks more real. Okay, and now we're going to hit enter to accept that transformation change. And then just go down here, click this. Um, this button down here is for a layer mask. We're going to add a layer mask. You can see it's white now, so nothing's changed. Make sure you have um, black as your top layer here. Uh, go to brush, and we just hit B on the keyboard for brush. And I just want to make sure I have a soft round brush. This is one of the few times that you'll find that I use a soft round brush. And we're just going to paint away the things we don't want here. So we're just going through here, painting, painting. And, uh, you know, we're painting up here, painting this way. So this is going to be a little tricky because, you know, we don't have these quite, you know, our hair kind of covered up that eye. But let's not worry about that right now. Not going to worry too much here. Going to kind of blend this back in together here so it all looks the same z's and i'm just using my mouse but you know if you if you want a little bit more control you could use something like a wacom tablet i a wacom wacom i'm not sure how you pronounce it uh, either one of those like where you have like a pen tool pen and tablet tool that would work better all right see we're pretty close Ooh, missed a little spot there didn't i make sure you're Clicked on the layer. Okay, click. Sometimes I just click the hide, unhide, you know. We got a little bit going on up there. So we're getting real close here. It's starting to look pretty dang good, pretty convincing here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer on top of that. We're going to grab our stamp tool once again. So I just hit S for stamp tool. Then we're gonna come over here to this clone source. And if you don't see this, just go up to window and clone source to make sure you have this. And we're just gonna flip it on the horizontal. So just click that, flips it. We can hide that temporarily for now. What we're gonna do now is I just zoomed in a little bit. I'm just gonna click right in her, just at the edge of her eyeball right here because everything else is good. So we're gonna go there and then you can see it flipped it right away you can see our little preview then we just want to line those up there and we're just going to paint from there and that's how we get the other side of her eyeball and this is why we did it in a different layer because you can still see a little bit here um, where it's a little bit darker than the rest so you see i'll flip that back and forth a little bit darker than it needed to be because the other side this side's a little bit darker than that side was so that's one way one of the reasons why we're going to do it on a different layer so we're going to grab our curve tool and we're just going to click this little this creates a clipping mask because so that only affects the layer right below it none of the other ones and we're just going to raise this up just a little bit i just grabbed kind of lower middle and then i'm going to go up here a little bit and we're just going to fiddle with this just a smidgen until it looks right. Now to me, it looks like her eyes are just a little off. So I'm going to select all of these again. This one, this one. And I hit Command T. And we're just going to turn this just ever so slightly. Isn't that, is that better or is that worse? So here I'm holding Option or Alt and clicking this one, and that hides all except for that one and then shows all once you click it again. So see, that's probably a little bit better. And you can see a little bit on her cheek there. Yeah, so that's a little bit more natural. And then let's just go in here with our on our layer mask, click the layer mask, and then the brush. And I just saw where there was a little bit here and a little bit here and then same thing here let's grab and add a layer mask to this and just come in here and tidy this little area up we can go smaller here so we have a little bit more control and we're just kind of painting that all the way till it looks good cool and then on the layer mask the beautiful thing is just switch this to white and go back so see i painted away a little bit too much so you can just hit X on your keyboard to swap back and forth from white to black, black to white. Now, let's we'll just hit Command or Control, Alt, um, Zero. 
and that lets you see the whole thing. So that zooms you all the way out to where the the whole photo fits in the frame. And now let's look at her eyes back there, just as we're way back. See, looking this far back, this is only gonna be like a 16 by 20 print. So nobody's gonna notice, nobody's gonna zoom in as close as we had it. But if it looks good that close, it'll look good this far away. So there you go, that's it. I just wanna show you guys real quick how we fix eyeballs in Photoshop, super easy. You guys can do this as noobs It's or as you know, seasoned professionals. It doesn't matter what level you're at, this comes in handy. I do this all the time. So I just thought I'd show you real quick how that's done. And it, you know, it took a lot longer to explain you how to do it than it would be to just do it, you know, if I wasn't doing this voiceover thing. <laughs> so that's it for now. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.